Good morning and welcome back to the One Celtic Fans View. We've got a massive, massive game tomorrow. It is Celtic versus Aberdeen in the semi-final of the Scottish League Cup. Yep, this one down here uh, that we've won 21 times and we want to make it 22. And this weekend's game, as far as I'm concerned, is a winner takes all scenario. Whoever wins the game this weekend and uh, has basically got the one hand on the trophy. That's no disrespect, disrespect to Rangers or Motherwell, but uh, Celtic would or Aberdeen would get past those two teams easily. So this is <coughs> a massive game as far as Celtic and Aberdeen are concerned. But in other Celtic news, first of all, or news related to Scottish football, the SFA have appointed the English Premier League referee Martin Atkinson as the new VAR manager for, following the sudden departure of John Moss just under a month ago. <coughs> the sudden departure. I wonder if it was the fact that he wasn't in a lodge, the, the real reason that he... Because um, it's funny that these kind of things happen in a parallel kind of universe when Rangers aren't winning. All of a sudden, the VAR referees disappear and the VAR boss disappears. It's an interesting one. Call me and yeah, just talk about it. Anyway, uh, the arrival comes amid broader changes, it says, within the SFA, SFA refereeing department, where Willie Collum recently placed Alan Crawford as head of refereeing. What effect will it have on the Scottish game? Well, we all know what that will be, don't we? But anyway, let's get to the Aberdeen game tomorrow. Uh, Aberdeen Celtic do play Aberdeen tomorrow. It is a 5.30 kick-off at Hamden Park. Uh, it is a 5.30 kick-off at Hamden Park. And um, it'll be a fan Hamden's always a cracking... It's always a cracking game to go to, but it's a rubbish stadium, let's be perfectly honest. It's, the buses are all parked away up, but 20-minute walks down to the, the stadium. There's nothing of any significance around the stadium to make it... A fan experience to say there's, I mean, there's, there's what, there's two pubs and, and maybe a five minute walking distance, and they get packed out pretty quick. And then, you know, there's the whole getting into Hamden, there's the facilities in Hamden, they're rotten toilets. It's, you know, it's just, it is what it is. It is the national stadium, and it's a massive opportunity for Celtic to get to the final that eluded them last season. But the Aberdeen boss. Aberdeen boss, Jimmy, wee Jimmy up there in Aberdeen, uh, wee Jimmy up there in Aberdeen has a strong message ahead of the League Cup semi-final against Celtic. Um, he's been biding to, get, bide, biding to guide Aberdeen even uh, to back-to-back -back wins over the Glasgow mob in the space of four days. Um, if he does, it's, it, people will start thinking up in Aberdeen that they've got the new Alex Ferguson because that's that's what they basically they'll look at. And there's no way that he's going to take them to European success like Alex Ferguson. I am not saying that to say the least. But Jimmy insists Aberdeen have a strong belief and they can overcome Celtic in the League Cup semi-final. To complete an... They say the, the OF word, but I'll say Glasgow Derby double. Um, the Aberdeen... Manager faces Celtic in the Premier Sports Cup semi-final at Hamden on Saturday on the back of a good run of forum. And uh, are, you, are you just going to make loads of noise? Jimmy, he done. Damn dog. Who is it? As soon as I start video on. Anyway, uh, the Aberdeen manager acknowledges the fact facing uh, Celtic is going to be a hard one and they plan on getting their first piece of silverware since 2014. 2014, long time ago, but it was also a good time for Scottish football because there was other teams winning cups. And uh, Rangers fans will say, well, Celtic should have been dominating things in those years because Rangers weren't in the top league. And that's because you died and got in the back door of Scottish football, let's be perfectly honest about that. Um, you went into liqui liquidation, you died and, and sneaked in the back door of Scottish football where you should have been gone forever, to be fair, to be fair. But it was a good time because there was other clubs. Now, it is funny that the Angels fans say that Celtic should have been win winning doubles and trebles. And, well, we were, on, we were winning doubles, but we weren't winning trebles. And it's funny that we started winning trebles when they came back into the league. Can we win a treble this season? Will Aberdeen stand in the way? High-flying Aberdeen. And I do say that in, in a lot of respect because they are high flying and they're up there at the top of the league with us. They're going toe to toe to, with us, toenail, even this weekend. And um, 
Everybody has a belief at Aberdeen that they can do it. Otherwise, it's unnecessary to even play the game if we don't have it. Um, the Aberdeen manager goes on to say, if you have a strong belief, we'll go 100% with that belief and we can make it. This is the cup semi-final. If you lose, you lose. You're out. If you win, you go to the final. We know that Celtic are good. We know their strengths. And uh, So for us, it's more about trying to be even better in other parts of the game. For us, says the Aberdeen manager, we have a strong belief. And we're going to keep on working on that. So... Can Aberdeen have an upset this weekend? I think it's going to be a tight game. Um, the fact that they did come back the second half when we played them at Celtic Park just a couple of weeks ago. Celtic go 2-0 up in, in the first half. And then we the, the, the hats off to the Aberdeen manager because he made the changes at half-time, which allowed them to get a foothold in the, the, the game at Celtic Park. They weren't afraid of us. They came attacking at us. What's the worry for me is going into this game is Kyogo's missing far too many easy chances. Now there's never any easy chances as a striker, but when you get one on one with the keeper and you pull it wide, you're not hitting the target. Kyogo's doing that far too often for me. Now I believe that Adam Eder will be okay for this game this weekend. Um whether he gets game time or not, let's just hope that that ankle was held up. Uh, we'll find out from Brendan Rogers this afternoon. And when that interview is out, we will be doing a live after that. It'll probably be around about half past five Celtic part time we'll do our live so we try and get as many on as possible before everyone goes to listen to the meltdown on other stations in Scotland but I think that you know they're going to come down here and they're going to come down with a big fan base because it is Hamden and they've got a big support coming down and they, Celtic will have to do what we do but and it's a big but for me because Kyogo's not firing on all cylinders and that for me is a worry. He's not taking the easy chances. I mean, there was, there was a couple of chances at the, at the weekend in the first quarter of an hour and you're thinking, do you know, a, a top quality striker, I'm not saying that Kyogo's not a top quality striker, but you can see it with your own eyes. He's not hitting the back of the net when he should be and... I mean, I don't know what's going on with him. I don't know what's, what's going on with his mindset. I mean, he it, it, it seems positive enough to, to know that he can take the chances and he can score the goals. But it does get frustrating when, and it could, and the reason, the only reason I'm talking about it is it could make things a lot easier for Celtic. If he scores the, those goals in the first 10, 15 minutes, it relaxes the team, it relaxes the fans, and then the, the opposing team then have to have a go at Celtic. Now, if we do the same with Aberdeen at the weekend, Aberdeen will come and have a go at us. We then need, to, I mean, Aberdeen are going to come and have a go right from the start of the match. That's, that's an absolute given. They will have a go right from the start of the match. They will know that they, if they can get their nose in front, it's then up to Celtic to come and attack them and they'll think, look, we can hit them on the break. We've done it at Celtic Park, we can have a go at them and we can, and you know, ultimately they'll think that we they can beat us. I think that Celtic will win the game and I don't think it's going to be an easy game against Aberdeen, but what it will do, it will put us on a run and there's, I've said it before, there's always significant games and it's always late kickoffs in the season. It's always either a nighttime game or, or a late kickoff. You remember even back to previous managers that have won against Aberdeen in midweek games up in Aberdeen. And then you go to currently, well, Ange Postacoglu and his late win up in Ross County when the big bricky himself um, headed the ball into the back of the net and then almost disappeared into the fans and the, I think it was about the 97th minute that then put Celtic on a run to go just settle down and get on a run to win things and I think that this could be that game can that be the game, can that be the turning point of the season to say to Aberdeen we're better than you and we know that we're better than you, we've got the better players, we've got the better squad and then it finally gives them a little bit of a wake up call so that the next time that when we go up to Aberdeen, yes they will be up, they will be up for it but I think they'll remember the fact that they were beaten at Hamden and they, they'll either do one or two things, they want to come at us to try and prove to rectify a wrong as they see it and it's never going to be the case that, if, <laughs> and I don't want to say it, but I mean, if Celtic lose at the weekend, the chance of a treble is gone. And it's hard enough to try and win trebles. You've got to beat the teams in front of you. But let's be as positive as we can. And make sure that you join us for the live this evening, 5.30 Celtic, Celtic part-time, where we will talk about uh, the 
possible lineup that Brendan Rodgers will go with. I think he'll go with the strongest lineup possible. He's not going to take any chances whatsoever. He's not going to play players that, let's face it, that got 50 minutes at the weekend and just didn't do it. Didn't do enough for me. Just the, the, the prove that they're backup players at the best coming on for the last 10-15 minutes of a game just to keep up the intensity. But they are nowhere near level. And Brendan Rodgers did say it. He alluded to it. He said, look, and, and my, even my brother said it on the live, he says, look, they've got players that are coming in that aren't 100% match fit. They're not up there. And yes, you can say that. But everyone knows the way that they play at Celtic and they should be able to step right into the team. We expect more. And real good quality players. It doesn't matter if they've not played in the last two weeks. They're going to come in and they're going to up the game because they know that this is their chance. And that's ultimately what they had. This was their chance. Go out and prove that you're better. Lewis Palmer, go out and prove that you're the winger that should be playing every week. You know, um, you could say the same about Yang. And as you say, oh, but Yang had a had a had a um, an assist. It was a deflection. It was going nowhere near Alistair Johnston. So let's not kid ourselves that Yang was some kind of fantastic player. But it is what it is. Brendan Rodgers will make the tough choices. Will he go with Austin Trusty and Cameron Carter-Vickers at the back? Will he revert back to Liam Scales and Cameron Carter-Vickers at the back? I expect him to have Alistair Johnson and will Greg Taylor get the nod over young Alex Bay? That's going to be the one to watch also. There's a lot of permutations that could happen. I think Brendan Rodgers will go with a really strong midfield. But anyway, let's talk about it tonight and see what's going on with Brendan and the squad and the updates. And yeah, let's get back to talking about Celtic. <laughs> 